Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to update your Windows 11 to version 25H2 because of this error code that is 0x8024609. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, when the update fails, if you see a retry option, you can hit retry and then check if that does not work. Restart your computer once and after the system restart, you can check still not working. Then pause and restart the update. Now for this, go to Windows update. Over here you can see pause option, hit pause and once pause, click on resume updates and then you can check still not working. The next step is to start these services. Now for this type in services in Windows search box, click on services and then find app readiness, make a double click on app readiness, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK and then make a right click on app readiness, click on start or restart. Now find Windows Update, scroll down here, you can see Windows Update, make a double click on Windows Update, set this to automatic, apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK, make a right click on Windows Update and then click on restart. Now find Background Intelligent Transfer Service, make a double click, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, and then again make a right click on Background Intelligent Transfer Service and then click on restart. And once this is done, now you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator. And then click on yes to allow. Now copy the first command. All the commands are provided in the video description. Paste it, hit the enter key. This will run a scan. Once the first scan is 100% complete, copy the second command paste it on the same window and once the second scan is 100% complete, run the third command, paste it over here and then hit the enter key. Once the third scan is 100% complete, then restart your computer and after the system restart, you can check. Still not working, use Windows 11 installation assistant. For now for this, you can go to Microsoft website. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Windows 11 installation assistant. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. And if there is any update, you will see update now option or install now. You can do that and then restart your computer. Still not working. Use fix problems using Windows update for this open Windows settings. If you see retry option like this, you can click on retry. Now for this, go to Windows Update and then go to Advanced Option. Scroll down here, you can see Recovery option. Click on Recovery. And over here, you will see the option which says Fix Problems Using Windows Update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files and settings will be preserved. So click on Reinstall now. This process will take some time. And once this is complete, restart your computer. When you restart your computer, when you go to Update History, you will see Windows 11 version 2 for H2 Repair version. And once this is done, now you can try to update your Windows 11 to version 25H2 and then check. Still not working. The last step is to use Media Creation Tool. Now for this, you can go to this website and then scroll down here. You can see Media Creation Tool. Click on Download now and then run this exe file. When you run the exe file, you will see Accept option. Click on Accept. By default, Windows 11 will be selected. Click on Next and then select ISO file over here and then click on Next. Save it to desktop. Save and then let the download complete. This process will take some time. And once the download is complete, click on finish option and let this close automatically. It will take few seconds or maybe a minute to close. Once done, go to desktop, make a double click on Windows ISO file and then make a double click on setup file. Click on yes to allow, click on next, click on accept. And here you can see ready to install. By default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So make sure this is checked, hit install. After the installation, uh, restart your computer, uh, log in, and then you can try to update your Windows 11. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to update your Windows 11 to version 25H2. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.